Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a hair video, but not only just a hair video, I am recreating a hairstyle. So today's video is sponsored by Netflix, and my hairstyle is coming from the main character, Nimue, from a new Netflix original series called Cursed. So Cursed is a new retelling of the legend King Arthur, and today, like I said, I am doing a hairstyle inspired by the main character, Nimue. Okay, so Nimue is a lady of the lake, and her character is a symbol of courage. The show provides her perspective as she comes into her own mysterious powers. So I was lucky enough to get a first look at the first episode and now I'm so excited to binge watch the rest of the season. And if you want to watch it too, you can because the whole season of Curse is streaming now on Netflix. They came to cleanse the world of our kind. Because magic runs through us. Because we have what they want. The legend says, this sword belongs to the one true king. But what if the sword chooses a queen? The show actually stars Katherine Langford, and I've loved previous projects that she's been in. So this one I'm even more excited about because I love her. She wears these really cute braids, a half up, half down, and I wanted to put my own twist on it and do it with my curly hair, of course, and put my style into it because that hairstyle is so cute and I love seeing hairstyles. And then it just ringing a bell give me an idea or inspiration for a new hairstyle. So enough about that. If you want to hurry up and see how I did this cute hairstyle inspired by Nimue, then let's go on ahead and get started so we both can go ahead and binge watch Curse after I finish. Okay, so I'm starting off with my hair combed out and wet per usual but now i'm just gonna go ahead and comb my hair straight back because we want to part right in the middle so i'm gonna go ahead and do that get you that middle part right there right down the middle and then i'm gonna go ahead and add in some leave-in conditioner in my hair really quick i'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here i'm gonna make sure our hair stays nice and moisturized i can't wait to see this finished hairstyle. I really like seeing hairstyles on characters from shows and then it inspiring like a hair look. I just see it in my head and I just see it with my curls and I'm like, yes, I need to do that. And that's exactly what happened when I saw Nimue on Curse. I was like the braids, the half up, a look. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair with just some water so that it's easier to do. So now I'm going to part my hair so I'm gonna do it very close up, not halfway, like maybe half of half, like a quarter of my head. I'm gonna go ahead and part that out. So Nimue has her two braids like right here at the top going straight back like at an angle, but I wanna do like the same thing but only halfway and then I'm gonna do the end of the braid, an actual braid, and then I'm gonna clip it back and then I'm gonna have my curls come over top. So. That's the plan. So I'm gonna get a bristle brush. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair up because my braid is gonna go up and like this part of my hair, I want it to be up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some gel into my hair so that I can make sure it stays. So while I brush my hair up, I'm gonna gel it. Now we are ready to braid. So I'm just gonna get this little section in the front, very small section. Split that into three. And then start doing a corn roll, French braid, whatever you want to call it. So now that I have that braid all the way to the end, now I'm gonna go ahead and braid some extra, just a normal braid. Maybe like three inches down. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little black ribbon to the end. Now we're gonna repeat this same step over here. Mm -hmm. 
and there we go so we have the two braids done just like Nimue's and it looks cute already like I can already see it so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the back of my hair and we're gonna go ahead and get this ready to be nice and fluffy and pretty and curly so I'm gonna go ahead and get the spray bottle and just wet the back a little because you know she's sitting there getting dry now I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner again but to the back of the hair Honestly, you can get ideas of hair looks from somebody that has a completely opposite different hair than you do because, you know, obviously Nimue's hair is straight and mine's curly, but no matter what hair texture someone has, you just make it your way and fit your style and your hair. It's honestly the best way to get creative too anyway. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a buttercream to the back of my curls as well to give it as much moisture as it needs. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get my Denman brush and brush it out to lock my curls together. So when you first watch Curse, the first episode, I'll tell you just a little, a little bit about it so I don't give away too much. Basically, Nimue has these powers, like they're mysterious powers, and, and everybody there calls her a witch because they think she's cursed. And in the first episode, it seems like she hates her powers as well, and she's like, nobody wants me here. She just wants to leave and disappear because she thinks nobody there likes her and they don't want her there. So she's like, I'm going to go ahead and leave since nobody wants me here. And like it gets so interesting, I just cannot wait to watch the rest of the episodes. As soon as I finish this video, me and Ty are going to go and binge watch the rest because he's obsessed with it too. We're going to have a little date and just watch Netflix all night. Anyway, back to the hairstyle. So I'm going to go ahead and get these two pieces and we're going to go ahead and hair tie them together. So I'm going to get another little ruband and then we're going to just pull them tight and tie them up together. Next up, I'm just going to scrunch, scrunch, and get my curls nice and together and defined. And then we're going to go ahead and put a gel on top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that gel that I already had, get a little bit of it. And then we're just going to place it right on top. I just like to smooth it down my hair and then scrunch it in. And it locks in your curls without frizzing them up or messing them up at any way. And then make sure you scrunch back here too so it's not super flat on your head. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Scrunching is a curly person's best friend. There we go. Now that that part is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs just a little bit, you know. I always got to do the baby hairs. you know baby hairs had to come out to play now I'm gonna go ahead and get a head wrap strip and then tie this down so that they can stick down I can get some of that excess gel out I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this around the top of my hair and then just go ahead and pat it to squish it down so while I have this on to dry it quicker, I'm going to get my blow dryer. This is my Dyson and I have my diffuser on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow right here, just a little bit. After that, I'm going to go ahead and untie this. They should be ready to go. Yes. These things are not going to move. Now I'm going to go ahead and diffuse the ends of my hair a little bit. I usually let my hair air dry for a little bit and then I diffuse it, so that's what I did. I let it air dry a little bit, now I'm going to diffuse. Okay, now that my hair is dry, I kind of feel like I want to change the top part a little bit and this is the good thing of experimenting with hairstyles you can do this so I tied this up in a hair tie but I think I'm gonna take it out and I want my hair to be super big so like you know like my hair is big so like all my hairstyles are always based off of big hair okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get my comb and then flip my hair upside down and pick it out so I can get this part nice and big 
Ooh, there we go. So now what I want to do is get some bobby pins. I only have gold ones, so this works because it's gonna be hidden anyway. I'm gonna get two for each side. So I'm gonna split this hair right here. So to split this part up, get the braid and let it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and bobby pin this down. I'm gonna do two of them so it's in an X, one going up and then one going down. Make sure it's nice and secure and then pull the hair right back over it. Oh yes, yes! And then do the exact same thing to this side. Get a bobby pin, pull the braid right there in the middle of that. Flip the hair right back over it. And there we go. So this is the final look. I think it looks so cute. You can honestly wear this with the wet hair look or you can wear dry big hair and both of them are just as cute and they look like two separate whole different looks even though it's the same thing. So one day you can do the wet hair look and the next day you can fluff it out and do the big hair look on the same hairstyle. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this hairstyle. Thank you again to Netflix for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, Cursed is now streaming only on Netflix. Don't forget to check that out. And if you guys watch it, let me know what you think about it. I need to know, go ahead and comment it down below if you're gonna start watching it. And if you do start watching it, come back to this video and comment what you think about the show. Thank you again for watching. I hope you love this recreation video of a hairstyle and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.